welcome back to our channel. Please don't forget to subscribe. The inspirational story of today goes to the veteran Hollywood actor Ido Adeneko. This producer and actor who has produced about 10 movies. In a few weeks back, we spoke with the city people in a beer eater conversation about his growing up years in Abel Kuta. We spoke about his challenges as a young boy who lost his mother at the age of six. He also spoke on why he had abolished role in movies. It is really a revealing story. Idowu Adenokon, who happens to be one of the veteran Yoruba actors, who is popular for his abolished role in movies. It was the role that shot into limelight many years ago, after playing many roles in different movies. His first film was Ojulua, where Mr. Latin was the star actor. Can you be called a chief based on your movie roles? He said yes, because of my movie roles, but in real life, I haven't had any chieftaincy title. Though I have been offered, but I didn't accept, because I see myself as ghost messenger. And when you see some of us who are actors or singers, directly or indirectly, we are messengers. Because at times, your stories always serve as lessons give up to some people. Some of our messages or stories talk about life experience. It could also be stories that will touch even actors' personal lives without knowing. There are some stories you put out, and when you listen to it later, you realize it also touches your life. That's why I said some of us who teach people are God's messengers. Every time I wake up in the morning, I give thanks to God for my life. It is grace. We have seen so many things happen. My age mates, my juniors, and those who are older, many have passed on. If we put all this into consideration, we must always give God the praise. Idowu Adenokon, who is the son of the late chief Nasiruddin Ojebiyi Araba of Irawo in Abelkuta. Irawo, Abelkuta is a town in Akisai. Irawo and Itoko are almost the same thing. So I am from Irawo. I was born in 1966. My mother was from Owu. My, my father is from Egbake. I was born in a village called Robinyo. Robinyo is a place near Ijoko railway station and Nagbado. That is also the village of Dayo, Kujori. That was the village where I had my primary education. My father was an Ifa priest. A competent Ifa priest. If I should narrate everything that happened to me in the past, it could divide my family. And you know that Yoruba people believe so much in family tie and unity. If I should recount my life story, I would tear the family bond, which I won't do. I was six years old when I lost my mother. My stepmom brought me home. I was like an orphan then, and you know the suffering that comes with such experience. I saw a lot of things, but I thank God because everything I went through is now a lesson and that has made me to believe that if you don't have problems, you wouldn't have experience. The bigger your problem is, the larger your experience. So my experience enabled me to have a rich experience but instead of getting angry on the way I was treated by my stepmom I just give God the grace because I have realized it's a, le it's a lesson if I hadn't been treated that way maybe I wouldn't be where I am today some of my siblings are close to me and I tried as much as possible to forget the wrong things someone has done to me Early in life, I love to go to school, and among all my father's children, I am the one who shared striking resemblance with him. In my primary school days, I was loved by my teachers, 
schoolmates because I was very brilliant. African Church School, Igbori Robinho, is the name of my school. I specialized in English. English language was my favorite subject. Even when I finished my secondary school, I was still good in the language. Talking about what he did have in mind to do at that time, he said he wanted to be a pilot. My mother's siblings promised to help me realize my ambition. So I had two things in mind. First was to become a soldier and the second was to become a pilot. But when I was growing up, I was told I couldn't be a soldier because of my height. I was a bit short. I was very determined to go to school. But a lot of things happened during that period. There was a year in my school that an opportunity came to win scholarship. I was picked among those to go for the scholarship exam. It was at Agbadu Railway Station we had that exam. Mr. A. A. Falade was the teacher who took us to the exam hall. That was the man who taught me theater hard, but he is late now. What happened was that when we got to the big hall and I was about to do English text, I became blank. Immediately, I was given question sheets. I forgot everything I've learned. I couldn't remember anything. I was just flipping through the pages until I heard pains hop. It was at that point that my memory was restored, but I couldn't write anything again. My teacher and I cried back to Rubio. Immediately, some of my teachers then understood what happened to me. So the following Monday, I was summoned by my headmaster. I was asked about the exams and I told them I could not understand. The headmaster also wept for me. They took me to my father that they needed to talk to my dad. But when they saw my father, my stepmom was there. So they were, they were reluctant to talk to my father in our presence, but they had to anyway. They said they knew him to be a powerful man, son, shouldn't have experienced what happened to me that day. They told him everything that happened when I went to write the exam. Here's what my father did. He gave me a hard knock on, my, on the head and also I said I wouldn't be giving food with meat for a day. For days, our headmaster cautioned my dad then. That was not the issue, not a beating matter. He told my father that I was the best student. That is some of the stories of my life. What I went through at the age of 8, I still remember till date. At what point did you decide to jettison the idea of being a pilot and you opted for acting? When I left for primary school, when it was 5 days to resume at a secondary school, free education, I started then. I have seen my uniform and my stepmom told my dad that he shouldn't allow me to further my education. That when my father is gone, I should be the one to take over. My father's trade, he agreed with her. So when I entered the house that day, my father called me to suspend my schooling as he told me that he wanted me to learn his trade. I cried uncontrollably the following day and I wanted to tell him to allow me to go to school and return to learn his trade. He did not allow me to talk. So I was sent to Lagos the following day. I was sent to Chief Ageshi Jawefa Awolu Mate of Isolo. So I was with Ageshi Jawefa and was learning the far. So I surrendered to fate. I joined the children of the man to play football and I also told them I wanted to go to school. They helped me to do that. I was given admission to Okota High School. When my father knew I was going to school, he didn't react. And all that period, I was the one who used to write a count book for Chief Agassi in Jawiola. During that period, I met a brother, Tunji, in Chief Agassi in Jawiola's house, and it happened that he was related to my stepmom. After a year, he came to Joko to see his dad. 
That day was a market day in Ijoko. To and people from my village, from my own village, Robin Yobo will come to the market. And that was how my stepmom saw that brother Tunji and she asked her for him after me. And he just said I was doing well, but also attended school. And that was how she went to tell my dad about it. I was taken away from that man's house and I returned to Abelkuta. When I got back to Abelkuta, I drank only pap and milk for six months because I did not eat ever. At that time, I had known much about Ifa. So at the end of the day, the person who initiated me into learning Ifa had started regretting it because I had gained a lot from him. How did you start acting? There was a family of mine, but it is late now. We used to act if there were no theater people around, and we were told Shegun Olaya was into theater, and Shegun and I belonged to the same family. So we all joined and became friends. Even our brother, Odule, because I don't know when he started. Igwe is a rugged man, and in all these people, I was the only one working because I worked then as a driver. We used to do things together. When I knew when I've learned what I needed, I told the man to follow me to my dad and tell him I was done with Ifa and pray for me. So when we got there, he prayed for me. So when we pursued theater out and there was no headway, I joined government work. I was working with government. So I was there working, but I seldom visit them. I thought I was going to even become a Kiwi because I have the talent. Chief Lane Waju Adepojo liked me so much because I was the secretary of a Kiwi in Open State. I used to work records then. I focused more on Hewi. Higwe, Jeremy were fully into acting. Latin, a president today, would always tell me to come back into acting. It used to disturb me. My first film then was Ojulowa, and Latin was the leading actor and it was about 1994. That was the first film Latin showed his Latin skill. Alasare, before he died, I used to tell him that I would be coming back. You should create space for me because one day I would retire and come back into acting. Alasare was the only one who brought me back into acting. He would say, Heidi, you don't know my plan for you. Anytime I see you, I see your father. Because in all this period, I used to have normal character, like policeman and chief. He said there were some areas I see you acting, and not quite long. He called me and told me I would act as Babalawo in a movie called Inuamoku. I agreed, and after that film, I became popular. Everybody started talking about it. A year, they showed that film at cultural center. It was so crowded. Igwe was there. And when it was my scene and he saw me, Igwe said, Yes, ID is the only one who could act that role perfectly. And since then, they have been calling me for an act of Babalawo in films. Talking about how many films he has done since he joined the theater act, he said, I have done about 10 films of my own. Can you remember their titles? I did Ishuboji. After Shibuja, I did the Alajao, Alajo, I did Sibe Sibe, Awolashe. After that, I did Enroku. I like to choose big titles for my movie. After this, I did Inoloju Eku. In our industry, there are some people I respect. People like Odula Diadikola. I approached him there that I wanted to do movie. So when we began casting, and the person I wanted for the main actor of Ojuaku was in Kodre, and I would be Oluwo. And when Adulade looked through the story, he advised we needed money to execute the project, and he followed me and we sorted that out. He also advised me to play the role of Ojuaku. I yielded to his advice. It was a sellout. I didn't even plan for part two, but I was asked to by my promoter. So we did part two and called Okonron. So after this, I did Grandpa. After this, I did Akbe in Daoba. I also did Kogba Joge at Ongu Tukwamo.